Okay, that's interesting. So it's imposter syndrome because of how you look. Status is interesting because with your niche of nofap, uh, maybe being a you know a doctor or something like that, or a psychotherapist or something, talking about addiction can help. But other than that, there isn't really a degree on on not beating your meat. And so I, I don't think there's much like status you could have there other than just being a general doctor. For status, I would replace that word with credibility. And I would have you ask yourself, is what I'm suggesting credible? The people you've helped, have they seen progress? That's that one checked off them. How you look is an interesting one. You know, there's a there's a study, let me show you. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so let me explain the study. You see these two pictures. Uh, participants come in and they're told, or they're given clothing. And they either wear a full on business suit or they wear sweatpants or casual clothing like this. After they wear that clothing, they're made to play like a other participant or something. And the game's kind of like a negotiation game. Just how much are they going to negotiate and kind of win against the other person? And whoever wins has like, whoever gets the most money out of the other person wins, right? So you're negotiating like the price of a car or something or it's whatever some like it's in the millions for whatever it is, right? What do you think happened with the guys wearing the suit or the guys wearing the sweatpants? That's all they changed. It was the same people in the space of 20 minutes. It was on a high leverage, but it was about millions of, you know, pretend millions of dollars, which obviously you can say is not real or whatever. But the difference was literally in millions of dollars, like 10 times the guys in the suits. That's all they changed. They negotiated harder. They were colder. And what was interesting, the most interesting thing for me, because that's what you assumed, right? What was the most interesting was that when they were made to wear, you see the sweatpants thing, their testosterone went down by 20%. Now, that could be for a multitude of reasons. That could be because the clothing just makes your dick shrivel and now you like you feel like bad or something. It could have been because of the fact that he's kind of losing in this game. Because anyone who's researched testosterone knows this. If you like kind of lose in the game, you're, you're sometimes going to get like a dip in testosterone. So for whatever reason, the guy who wears the casual clothes, the sweatpants, the, the normal t-shirt, his testosterone goes down, his negotiation skills are worse, he's more like agreeable, which is a bad trait when it comes to success. It's a good trait for friendship, sure, but when it comes to success, it's the, the cold, disagreeable motherfuckers who make a lot more money than everyone else. And so the conclusion of the study is like what um, Andrew just said, look good, feel good. So. I think it's the exact same thing with, for example, beards, hairstyles, with clothing, with status symbols like watches. It depends what level you want to take this because you don't want to start to act like someone that you're not and lose the authenticity. If you, you know, every dickhead on YouTube right now is wearing a shirt, smoking a cigar, fucking take ev all it don't even get me started right every every fucking guy in this in this niche is wearing the exact same suit cigar and everything and so they look like fools and like their reign of influence will dip down when people realize they're not saying anything new so you certainly want a style so the style that i've not made a guide on this but i was going to call it something like bathrobe rolex whoop or aura ring which was like you can see that that's like phases of like my my purpose so this is a whoop tracker like a fitness tracker i've had the aura ring before i've either got like a rolex or this is like a little one that i like i've got a gold necklace or sometimes i wear there you go i've got the same one as you i sometimes wear like these prayer beads and stuff and it's like it's my own style you add in a rolex watch to that style when i'm wearing the bathrobe and suddenly it's like some people will literally like me more because i'm wearing that i wear this this um this shirt some people will literally like me and listen to me more when i wear this but i would say one level up for example is getting the beard groomed now, now you're working a job go and get a, a trim from a barber nearby feel fresh and it's like you genuinely go up two or three points of attractiveness when you go and get a fresh trim especially if you get like the the sides all done like the young guys doing everything and there you go that's your confidence boost people respect you more that investment of 20 pounds for the haircut is certainly worth it do you know it, it's often seen as as vain when you improve your looks and I always thought it kind of was, even though I didn't want it to be, because I always knew, okay, you improve your looks, you get girls. That was my focus. It was when I enlisted into the RAF, that's something people don't know about me, but I enlisted into the, the UK military. And one of their like values that we I had to learn for the assessment was pride, that they take pride in their appearance. When you imagine like the military, everything is spotless, right? From, from the full on recruits to the like esteemed generals, spotless iron collars perfect every button like you know and they'll they'll literally look at every millimeter of you and then when i heard them like these sort of like confident alpha male high testosterone masculine competitive literal warriors and soldiers say we take pride in our appearance 
I was like, okay, so all these Sigma males online are, are taking the piss then when they say like, oh, well, I don't care how I look. It's like, okay, that, well then clearly that's a bad trait then, isn't it? Adonis School is a private online community that you can join to make friends who are just like you, who are on self-improvements, who are meditating, exercising, delaying gratification, who aren't degenerates. It's the hub spot for all of the people on self-improvement. We're all in here literally doing these good habits, reading these books, having these discussions, talking about this stuff online. I'm active in there. And it's a... I think it's an exceptional place for you to just make friends who are similar to you because a lot of my audience have told me, it's a very common experience, that when you really do start to implement the advice that I give out, naturally you have less things in common with the people that you've known already. And so it's a very common experience for young people who follow my videos who end up just getting lonely because there's no one that you can relate to, your family don't understand you anymore and your friends are kind of Jeffries and you can, you know, just kind of still attach to those old people who are part of the previous chapter of your life because you just don't want to be lonely right now and so Adonis School is made for you. It has outstanding customer reviews that are all verified and you can have a look at that on the website, which I'll link below. There's a lot of quite like high value successful guys in there that I personally added. We're not gonna expect them to be too active because they're obviously busy, but I, I literally just sent the link to all of like my high value successful friends. We've got Sneeko in there, Luke Belmar's in there, and he posts every now and then as well. He posts quite frequently some like good, he calls it data sets. Uh, Chris Williamson, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, First Man, and a bunch of like of friends I met in Dubai who make a lot of money and stuff. You know, I, I just sent the link to them so they could join. And then we've got a lot, like everyone's in here. Just, they're all just like you in here. If you're interested to that, you can go to hamza-ahmed.com slash school. It's the top link in, in the description. Just go there right now.